Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. Today we're going to talk about kindling. quick easy way to get some kindling for starting your wood stove fire is to simply take a really 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 old dry piece of wood that hasn't turned punky but is really really nice and dry and simply cut off chunks with a small axe. Uh, we got this one from a yard sale for 50 cents dollar two dollars I would have even paid five to ten for this type just because it's a solid head it's old you can redo the handle easily um, and they're just made all around better when they're older so you simply take your axe <coughs> and chop bigger pieces into smaller pieces That technique right there, I simply put the blade on the wood, pick it up together, and drop it until it goes in a little bit. Nice and easy. You can do the same thing again. A lot of people think <clears throat> it's tough doing this because you gotta swing into it, but just gotta use the old brain sometimes. So, you make all sorts of different sizes as you need. Some you leave big. Some you go smaller. Flakes are really nice. Small little thin sheaths of wood start really nice and easily. Nice, simple, um, free if you're not paying for your wood. There's certain trees that have a nice harder outside wood and it gets nice and dry quickly. Uh, look around on your property, dead and down stuff that is just off the ground that had been laying there for a couple of years would work great for some kindling. And there you go. Thanks for joining us with the quick tips about the kindling wood. Um, be sure to check out our other videos on wood stoves, chimneys, yurts, gardening, anything you can think of really. Uh, thanks for watching. Homesteading through our eyes. Check you soon. Peace.